I don't know how I came to be in love with Battlefield Gothica Matter 2. Whatever life choices brought me to exploring this spacefaring battleship strategy, I do not regret them in the least. Battlefield Gothica Matter 2 is that rare diamond in between the rock crystals that are most other games based on the Warhammer 40k franchise. There are so many mediocre video games based in that universe, I could make one video a month from now until eternity's end, and I still would have about half of them left to experience. But the good ones, nay the excellent ones, are rare indeed, and when I caught a passing glance at this one on the Xbox Game Pass for PC, I couldn't help myself. I had to try it out. The result is, I have come to enjoy the spectacle of humongous ships destroying each other in a two-dimensional grid. Why not a three-dimensional one, you might ask? The answer is, this game, like its predecessor, adapts the beloved tabletop game. I wonder if, were developer Tinderlows Interactive to make a third one, they might challenge themselves in an attempt to redefine the experience in the battleground itself. I doubt it, but it would be very interesting to see how a Warhammer 40k battleship game would play in a sphere, rather than on a two-dimensional grid. Gothica Armada 2 does not flinch when it comes to making full use of huge-scale ships, space monstrosities and everything else you'd expect of a franchise in which the concept of subtlety was abandoned 38 millennia ago. There's something visceral and terribly enjoyable about commanding a small fleet of ships and putting them against chaos and filthy xenos. Blah. The spectacle is, of course, thrilling to witness, but a lot of work goes into planning out vectors of attack, and even more work goes into the micromanagement necessary to dismantle an enemy fleet. If you're a perfectionist, enjoying the hell out of every inch of micromanagement, you might end up playing each of the battles manually, for hour after hour of the finest, most well-directed action you could wish for. In addition to the visual feast that are the battles, Gothica Mother 2 also offers a strategic lair, which isn't overtly complicated. Nothing at all like a grand strategy, but which offers you a fair amount of bonuses, upgrades and flavour while you wait for your ships to heal up after a disastrous battle. And boy, have I had a few of those! There are also several different star systems to explore and conquer, though I've only scratched how many systems there are in the Imperial Campaign and I don't yet know whether all campaigns play around in the same set of systems or if each one offers different and brand new systems to explore. The story starts off very well indeed, with good old Abaddon the Despoiler on his 13th attempt to ruin everything via yet another Black Crusade. You'd think he'd give up after 12 failed attempts, but no. It's another invasion of the Imperium for old Abbey, and it's off to a good start when the Imperial Bastion of Cadia is turned into... Well, a bunch of dead rocks, big and tiny, floating in the depthless darkness of space. Not a fine time to be taking vacation in Cadia, I don't think. This game, further, might be a very fine point to jump into the Warhammer 40k narrative. It follows very recent in-universe events, and it is told in a way that reminds me of the golden age of strategy of Warcraft 3 and Starcraft. Not 3D portraits, true, but conversations between characters who are voiced and written well, jibes between foes in the midst of battle and, of course, the trademark heroism of Space Marines, Imperial Guardsmen and many others. Sound is another strength of Gothica Mother 2. Ship weapons have real weight, engines roar just right and the soundtrack is what I've imagined the universe would sound like. Doyle W. Donahue has done a splendid job capturing the mood with what is legitimately one of my favourite epic OSTs in years. As melodramatic as Warhammer 40k, of course, and that is where so much of the joy of that universe comes from. Now, outside of the game itself, I had heard its tacked-on anti-cheat software 
Easy anti-cheat has caused no end of grief for some players, including those utterly uninterested in playing the game's multiplayer. I haven't yet come across any such problems, but you should be aware that they are present for others. And persistent. I've only just taken my first steps in Battlefleet Gothica Matter 2, and I suspect it will be a long time yet until I've had my fill. I would like to make either a review of the game as a whole, or at the very least to examine each of the different race campaigns in the future. One way or the other. I hope to be back with more of what has been an unexpectedly enjoyable strategy whirl in the worst possible timeline. Until then, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe, ring that bell button for further notifications, and you know the drill. Leave a comment down below. See you next time. Bye! You serve the Omnisire! Vigilance must be maintained. Though enemy systems present the most immediate danger, incursion should be expected from beyond our immediate campaign sphere. We are not without eyes in the darkness of space. Should an enemy approach, there will be a warning.